Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And if you watch my previous video, you saw I opened up a big package of vintage stuff, including a lot of unopened material, and I promised I'd open up some of it real soon. And it is the next day, and we're going to open up some of it. These are the two rack packs that I pulled out of that package, and these are the things I'm most excited to open, so I, that's why I thought, let's do these tonight. And uh, so what we have here is a 1987 Topps Rack Pack. 1987 Topps is great. It has uh, Barry Bonds' rookie potential. It has Bo Jackson rookie potential. I think it's also got, uh, I'm trying to remember, I, I think it also might have Barry Larkin rookie. I'm trying to remember. It does have some other rookies. It also has loads of uh, Hall of Famers. Lots of Hall of Famers you can pull out of that, so that's pretty exciting. And uh, this is a 1992 Donruss. I, I have never opened 1992 Donruss Rack Pack. I've opened plenty of Wax Packs, so I know how that goes. But I've never opened a Rack Pack of Donruss from 1992, so this is pretty exciting for me. Uh, 1992 Donruss is admittedly not a... Uh, it's not a hugely valuable set. It doesn't have a ton of star power in it. I think the best cards are, I think the Jim Tomey rookie is in here. He's a Hall of Famer. He's one of uh, less than 10 players to hit over 600 home runs, so a very deserving Hall of Famer in my opinion. Uh, and I also think Mike Mussina rookie is in here, and, and Mussina was a good pitcher. I've never understood how he got in the Hall of Fame, but he is a good pitcher. And uh, there is a little value to his rookie card, certainly. And there are also a lot of Hall of Famers in here. Nolan Ryan and Kyle Ripken and Mike Schmidt and people like that. So we're going to start with this one. Uh, as I said, I've never opened a Donruss 92 Rack Pack. And the other thing that's kind of exciting about this is that they uh, included 5,000 autographed Kyle Ripken cards randomly in uh, wax packs and rack packs so we have a tiny 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 chance of finding one of those but you never know so let's see what we have here we'll uh, get into this uh, Donruss rack pack first and uh, thank you for tuning in tonight I really appreciate it I hope you're excited to go through some of these as I am if I can even get this thing open this is like foil and it's actually rather difficult to rip and uh, get into here but here we go now we got something going on. All right, and I should be able to rip that one all the way straight down. And look at this craziness. There is a Jim Tomey rookie right off the top. How about that? That is amazing. That is probably the best card in this set as far as potential value. That is remarkable. I, uh, I can't believe that. Wow. All right. Well, we're putting that one in the wolf layer for sure. We're going to hang on to that and we'll go through the rest of these. And, you know, with that kind of luck, we may just pull an autographed Ripken out of here. <laughs> Who knows? All right. So let's see. I believe I'm, I want to make sure I get these in focus. I didn't do a great job with that in the last video. And I, I do, uh, do want to make sure I do that here. All right. So here's Manny Lee, Blue Jays shortstop, Dave Hansen, Milt Thompson, Looks like I can just flip these over. Oh, we got another rated rookie in here. That'll be fun. Let's see who that is. There's a checklist card with a... Is that a hole in there? No, it's, it does have a blemish on it. There's a Cal Ripken. That's nice to find. You know, I collect the Orioles. If you watch my channel, you know how I feel about that. And that commemorates his 1991 AL MVP award. I believe he won two in his career. So that's a pretty cool card. Happy to have that. Anthony Young, rated rookie. Trevor Wilson, Scott Hemond, Gary Varsho, Chuck McElroy, Tim Cruz, Mike Schooler, Jeff Reed, and Ricky Jordan, who was a popular rookie back in the day. Ricky Jordan was a really hot prospect that people thought was going to be really a great player, and he never quite panned out the way that people expected. Let's see what's in the second cell here. We've got another rated rookie, this one of Dave Fleming, a Mariners pitcher. And there's Chris Gwynn, Scott Terry, Sed Landrum, Mickey Morandi, Doug Jones, another checklist card, this one without a big hole in it, Cheeto Martinez, who is an Oriole. Let's pop that over there on the Wolf Lair. I do collect the Orioles. Walt Terrell, and Jose Melendez, Mike Huff, Dan Gladden, and upside down is Mike Sims, Matt Young, and Rod Beck. 
was a very good relief pitcher back in the day. And out of the final cell of uh, cards here from this uh, very cool Dunruss uh, rack pack that we're opening tonight, we uh, start off. I want to make sure that this gets into focus. Come on, camera, behave yourself. I'm not sure I'm getting it. Maybe I'll just move it down a little. Yeah, there we go. All right. So we've got Dave Anderson, Scott Servace, Lance Blankenship, Alejandro Pena, Terry Shumpert, Jack Darty, Wilson Alvarez, Dave West, Jeff Reed, another Ricky Jordan, double the Ricky Jordan in this one, John Jaha, Mike Sharperson, Dave Burba, Freddie Benavides, and Vaughn Hayes, who had a long career in the majors. So, not a lot of exciting out of there, though, you know, I can't complain. We got the best card in the set as the very first card we saw. That's a nice looking Jim Tomey, too. It's very nicely centered. Corners look good. You know, that's a sweet card. I'm good with that. So, let's move on then to this uh, Topps Rack Pack from 1987. Uh, no Hall of Famers showing on the front or the back. But uh, we do have a Lou Whitaker insert card here. Lou is not in the Hall of Fame, but probably should be. And Daryl Porter over here, who was a really good catcher for Kansas City Royals for many years. And I think he actually won one of the, uh, I think it was the 1982 World Series MVP. I think that was Daryl Porter. Uh, so there you go. And Daryl Porter did unfortunately pass away several years ago. So rest in peace, Daryl Porter. This one is much easier to open, as you can see, than that uh, foil Donruss rack pack was. Uh, these Topps rack packs usually open up pretty easily. We'll start off with this uh, first cell, and these cards feel really crisp and clean. I mean, these are in great shape. Daryl Porter starts us off, and then Mark Heisman, Rudy Law, Dennis Lamp, Craig Reynolds, Todd Worrell trophy card, Tom Pachorek. Nice turn back to the clock. Roberto Clemente card. That's a pretty nice looking card. Uh, Royals leaders. Uh, it looks like it might be George Brett there. It's pretty nice. Tim Flannery. Jose Cruz. Mickey Brantley. Jose Guzman. Pirates leaders. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer there. And Craig Lefertz. Let's go to the second cell, so if we pull anything out of there, that is exciting to us. Kurt Ford starts us off. And there's a Daryl Strawberry All-Star. That is not too bad. Nice to see that one. Jim Slayton. Cal Ripken again. All right. I'll take that. Very nice. And that is also rather nicely centered front and back. Looks very good there. We'll put that in the wool flare. That's a nice one to find. Mark Davis. Tom Candiotti. Randy Myers, Larry Anderson, Milt Thompson. I think we got a Milt Thompson out of that uh, Dunruss rack pack as well, if I'm remembering right. Mike Moore, Joe Cowley, Kurt Stilwell, Jim Pankovitz, Steve Lyons, John Felsky, the manager for the Phillies, who I do not remember at all. Alejandro Pena and Bip Roberts finishes that one off. And we'll get to this last cell and see what we get here. Out of the Tops Rack Pack from 1987, we start off with Sweet Lou Whitaker there. A little insert card, and these are sort of a uh, glossy finish. I don't know if you can see it. You can probably see it in the light there, it looks like. So these are nice cards. I always liked these cards. Uh, and uh, they just commemorated the, the All-Stars from the 1986 game. But uh, that's a nice card. Steve Balboni, Mike Fishlin, Randy St. Clair, Juan Augusto, Dwight Gooden. All right, there's Doc Gooden. Not a bad card either. That's a nice one to pull. We'll put that uh, out there. Cal Daniels, Carmelo Martinez, Terry Forster, Dwight Evans. Great player for the Red Sox for many years. Denny Martinez. Now, I, I think Denny is in the Hall of Fame as well. Maybe we'll pull that one out. I have to check that one. Jeff Reardon, another Expos pitcher. Pat Sheridan. Of course, Denny Martinez played for the Orioles for many years. Tony Gwynn, speaking of Hall of Famers. This is a pretty good pack here. I, I actually don't have that Tony Gwynn card. Uh, so that's that's a really nice pickup for me because I do PC Tony Gwynn, and that is a sweet-looking card. So that's exciting for me. Steve Crawford, Vince Coleman, Speedster on the bases, and Damaso Garcia finishes out 
our uh, rack pack from Tops, which was a pretty good one, I think. I think we pulled some nice stuff there. Got the Ripken, Tony Gwynn, which uh, will also go into my PC, Danny Martinez and, and Dwight Gooden, and we had a couple other pretty nice stars in there that I did not pull out, but uh, are pretty good, including this Lou Whitaker that I'll probably hang on to as well. So pretty fun to open those, I gotta tell you. I uh, love opening rack packs, and you just don't see them get opened on YouTube that often. It's always a treat to do so. I hope you had a good time. Uh, as I did, and I appreciate you tuning into the channel tonight. I uh, hope that if you like this kind of content, you'll consider giving me a subscription and hanging around with me more often. We open a lot of cool stuff on the channel, and um, give this video a like, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you thought was the best card that I pulled tonight. I'll be curious to hear what you have to say about that. And uh, thanks once again to everyone who tuned in, and happy collecting!